What are some tips for someone with no fighting experience to win in a fight? If they've got their hands down, angled slightly and sort of looking away but keeping you in the corner of their eye, they're lining up for a sucker punch. Run. Being in a fight is extremely dumb and risky, it should be avoided at all costs, even if you are trained. Edit, or to escalate. Again, fighting is dumb, and I say that as a guy who has been boxing for 7 years at this point. Edit 2, let's be more specific. You should never be trying to win a fight outside an organized sport competition. You should be trying to avoid it, and if inevitable, to disengage from it and get to safety. Voluntarily going into a fight with the intent to win is dumb and reckless. It is extremely easy to sustain or cause a lingering injury or death in combat. The kind of guy who seek fights with stranger tend to be armed or have a bunch of friend ready to curb stomp you. If you want to protect yourself, there is no quick tip. Go get actual training. I guarantee you they will repeat this very advice too. This. I don't think people realize how dangerous fighting is. Most people don't know when to stop, especially in a fit of rage. All it takes is the right hit or fall to have serious lifelong damage. Happened to a kid I went to school with. Only got hit three times, third one knocked him out and his head smacked the pavement. Died from brain hemorrhage. Yep. I testified in a murder trial of a guy who killed his brother like this fighting over a girl in a parking lot at 2am, one punch and he hit the ground, game over. Insanely sad. I cringe every time I see videos on here that indicate massive head trauma. We're really such fragile beings. Lots of bad advice here. He asked how you win a fight, not how you run away from a fight. That groin, nose, testicle thing is horrible advice that they don't even teach anymore. The leg of your dominant hand 6 inches back, feet shoulder length apart, hands held with knuckles touching your cheeks and elbows in. That's your stance. Don't lift your feet, but pivot them 45 degrees when you throw a punch, same foot as the hand you're throwing, you want to feel the entire side of your body that's throwing pivot, this is where a majority of a punch's power comes from. After each punch return your knuckles to your cheek before throwing the next. While throwing a punch focus on keeping your wrist straight like your forearm is a metal pole. Don't do this your wrist is broken. Stay tight. Someone dives in for a takedown shoot your legs back and put your weight on them. Throw elbows any and all opportunities. Edit, guess I'll continue adding because I left a lot out, there's lots to include. You want to keep equal weight on both feet, don't put all your weight on one leg, if that's lifted you lose all balance. Have the foot of your dominant hand, which should be back, with your toes pointing to either 2 or 3 o'clock. If someone aims for a body blow lower your forearm which should be touching your body if your knuckles are properly placed, and head as your knuckles never leave your cheeks. When you throw a punch you will really really want to lean forward or backwards, no not do this. Biggest indicator that someone doesn't know what they're doing. If you do this you cannot move your feet at all or pivot properly thus losing all power. In terms of movement you should be doing a shuffle step, step with one foot and lightly drag the other. Feels weird, especially keeping your stance. Dominant hands foot 6 inches back plus shoulder length apart. When you step your feet will be slightly more than shoulder length, shouldn't be more than 3 inches. You go left move the left foot first. You go right move your right foot. Never cross your legs. Bigger people hit harder because they have an easier time putting mass into the hit. The same thing can be accomplished with pivoting your body appropriately. People get knocked out not by the force of the hit but the jarring in their brain, which is why you see videos of someone barely getting touched and getting knocked out. This is why uppercuts, fives and sixes, and hooks, threes and fours, are so often responsible for knockouts, it's harder to see them. You see a hit coming and your body involuntary tenses up the proper neck muscles to prevent brain jarring, so hitting someone at novel angels is ideal. If your dominant hand is right your right leg should be back. Your left leg is forward. In this position punches with your left hand are jabs, one, these are the only punches you should throw consecutively. Keep jabbing pretty much non-stop. Punches with the right hand are crosses, too, these you put extra power into. You jab to set up a powerful cross. Left hook, 3, right hook, 4, left uppercut, 5, right hook back cut, 6. You always want to go, even, odd, even, odd, etc. As the knuckle touches your cheek after throwing a punch the other punch should already be leaving. Aim for the nose. Most people will stop right there if you get them in the nose. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Mike Tyson Never use haymakers, hooks and football kicks, they're fucking stupid and will get you beat real fast. The trick is straight punches using your hip to throw your arm a bit more, 
Try to get in close so the aforementioned kicks and haymakers won't be able to get enough power in. Keep your hands up, if you have to dodge go sideways instead of back so you keep the distance advantage, but either way don't get in a fight in the first place. This is the advice you want to listen to right here. Don't try to emulate Mike Tyson and end the fight with one haymaker, you'll fail. Keep it simple. A straight jab to the nose will make your opponent's eyes tear up and can tip the scales in your favor. Not to mention, a good few jabs, even if they don't connect, can close the distance and make your opponent start frantically moving backwards. If there's no way to avoid it, try to keep a low center of balance and make sure to keep your feet on the ground. Don't kick or anything. Once you lose your balance and you're on the ground, it's over. Edit, yes, apparently everyone and their brother has jujitsu training. The question literally says for people with no fighting skills. If you do go down, bring them with you. But generally, try to keep your balance. How am I supposed to flamingo crane kick with both feet on the ground? Remember there are no rules in a fight. Yup, if you are getting jumped there are no rules, go for the balls, your safety is more important than any stupid rules. I had a friend in high school that thought he could win any fight if he went for the balls. Well, he got in a fight and went for the balls. Except, the other dude was jacked on adrenaline and beat the shit out of him anyways. This right here. We were sparring during a belt test and I snap kicked this guy to create some distance between us. He dodged sideways and I kicked him about as square off in the nuts as you can, hard. He backed off, breathed in, popped himself in the forehead with his gloves and said, good shot, dude. And came back at me. Didn't phase him. If you aren't in a sanctioned sports competition, there is no such thing as dirty. Most people exhaust quickly in a fight, and you don't want to run the risk that your opponent can last longer than you. Fight quick, fight dirty, and try to finish in 5 to 10 seconds, since you honestly have 30 max. Protect your head. Fight dirty. Protect your head. At the first chance to disengage, take it. Protect your head. Get the first punch in, and keep pushing your fist after it makes contact. Protect your mother head. Tuck your chin. Distract, sucker punch. Are you really going to try and fight me with a cop car right there? Protect your god head idiot. Hands way up. Head trauma is no joke. Protect your head. Just to add on, if you have no fight training, the best stance to block against punches is hands on top of your forehead near your temple so you don't block your eyesight, elbows out. Punch coming from the side? Throw that elbow out. They may connect with it and break their hand or at the least deflect the brunt of the attack away from your ear slash jaw. Punch coming from straight ahead, close up those arms. Again, the punch could connect with your elbow, or at the very least, protect your nose slash eyes. Obviously this will only work for a few attacks before they start going for other body parts or kicking, but the point is to defend yourself long enough to get out of the situation. If you have to fight back, this is also a really good stance for landing straight jabs. It isn't over when you're on the ground, it's over when only you are on the ground. If you can close, and take the whole fight to the ground, and bend a thumb, finger, arm or knee some way things don't normally bend you win. Female here. In my 20s got into my first and last fight. We tripped, fell to the ground, and she got me. Even with adrenaline pumping, I had enough strength to grab both her wrists but then she started headbutting me in the face while I was on my back. If it hadn't been broken up by that time, I was have gotten a broken nose because there was nowhere to go.